Microbiology, Greek, micros, small, bios, life, and logos, science, is the study of microscopic organisms and their activities. It is concerned with the shape, structure, reproduction, physiology, metabolism, and identification of microorganisms. Thus, microbiology involves the study of prokaryotic organisms, bacteria, archaea, lower eukaryotes, algae, protozoa, fungi. The microbiology stated with the polishing lenses made from glass pieces combined increases sufficiently to produce significant that enabled the visualization of microorganisms. Reports of Robert Hooke and Anton von Leeuwenhoek allowed the first observations of bacteria and other microorganisms. Although it was not probably the first to see the bacteria and protozoa, Dutchman Anton von Leeuwenhoek, 1632-1723, was the first to report their observations with accurate descriptions and drawings. Although van Leeuwenhoek is considered the father of microbiology, reports of Hook describing the structure of a mold were previously published to Leeuwenhoek. Thus, these two researchers are considered the pioneers of this science. Basic Microbiology The basic microbiology studies the nature and properties of microorganisms, morphological, physiological, biochemical, etc. Morphological characteristics, size, cell shape, chemical composition, etc. Physiological characteristics, nutrition and growth and reproduction conditions. Biochemical activities, conservation of energy by microorganisms. Genetic characteristics, heredity and variability of features. Ecological features, microorganisms in the environment and its relationship with other bodies. Potential pathologic microorganisms. Classification. The taxonomic relationship between groups of microorganisms. Applied microbiology. The applied microbiology studies the control and use of beneficial way of microorganisms, industrial processes, control of pests and diseases, food production, etc. In the industrial field, the microorganisms are used in the synthesis of chemicals such as citric acid, more complex antibiotics, and enzymes. In the environmental area, the microorganisms are used as biodegradation agents and environmental cleaning, control of pests, etc. Medical microbiology deals with the disease-causing microorganisms and prevention and control of them. The food microbiology is related to foodborne diseases quality control, and production of food, cheese, drinks, bread, etc. Characteristics of the main groups of microorganisms. The prokaryotic microorganisms comprise bacteria, which are divided into eubacteria and archaeobacteria, and eukaryotic microorganisms comprising fungi and some protozoans. Microscopy. The microscope is an indispensable tool for laboratory work, making it possible to observe structures invisible to the naked eye. The microscopes are classified depending on the principle in which the magnification is based. They can be optical. Systems employ two lenses and the ocular lens through which a magnified image is obtained. Electronics employ a beam of electrons to produce a magnified image. The optical microscope is used to observe pyrocarotic and eukaryotic cells, and electronic mobile details and viruses. Mechanical parts of the microscope. Foot supports the microscope, ensuring stability. Arm, vertical or tilt rod fixed to the base. The platinum platform on which to place the preparations to be observed displays in the center an opening through which the light rays. Handgun. The objective holder, fixed to the lower end of the tube, serves to facilitate replacement of an objective another, placing them in a rotating observation position. Objective. Enlarges the image of the object. Immersion objective. Is the lens that provides the greater increase. It is widely used in the microbiology laboratory. 
you need oil immersion to ensure a path of the optically homogeneous light beam between the blade and the objective lens. After use, it should be clean optical surfaces with tissue paper and a little xylene, as oil debris can damage the optical system of the microscope. I. Lens that increases received from the objective image. Lighting system is the combination of three essential parts. Double mirror or light source is intended to reflect light to the stage that receives the light source. Diaphragm regulates the intensity of light in the visual field of the microscope. Condenser regularly distributed in the visual field of the microscope light reflected from the mirror or directly from the light source. Given that the basis of this course is to work with microorganisms, it is important to get a sense of the size, scale, and the different units of length. Metric units used in microbiology are micrometer and nanometer. The cell, the fundamental unit of life which bind to DNA. The cell is the structural and functional unit of living organisms, i.e., all living things are composed of cells. Miners are made of a single cell, the largest of billions. The perception that all organisms are composed of cells was one of the most significant scientific advances. The word cell in the biological sense was used for the first time the English scientist Robert Hooke in the 17th century. Cells are arising from other pre-existing cells. The simplest forms of life are solitary cells, unicellular organisms. Meanwhile, the higher forms contain cell associations forming colonies of unicellular or multicellular organisms, constituting more complex organisms. The cells may have different shape and structure. All cells share two essential aspects. The first is an outer membrane, the plasma membrane. The other is the genetic material, genetic information, that regulates the activity of the cell making it possible to reproduce and pass on their characteristics to their offspring. The organization of the genetic material is one of the features that separates the parotic cells of eukaryotic cells. In prokaryotic cells, the genetic material, DNA, is in the form of a large circular molecule known as a chromosome. In eukaryotic cells, the DNA is linear and firmly bonded to individual proteins called histones to form some complexes chromosomes. The cells of microorganisms can be divided into two categories. Eukaryotic cells have a separate core cytoplasm by a nuclear membrane, the nuclear membrane. Prokaryotic cells present nuclear material without a membrane. Prokaryotes consist of two distinct lineages, bacterium or eubacteria and archaea. They are the smallest organisms and structurally simpler. In evolutionary terms, they are also the most ancient organisms on Earth. Fossils were found about 3.5 billion years. Cytoplasm. The cytoplasm and the intercellular space inside the cell, filled with a matrix having semi-fluid consistency gel called hyaloplasm, which is layered. Whatever is inside the cell, such as molecules and organelles. The cytoplasm is composed mainly of water, 80%, but also contains ions, molecules, and minerals such as proteins, carbohydrates, and RNA, corresponding to the remaining 20%. Cytoplasmic organelles. As we saw, prokaryotes organisms have no organized nucleus and are usually small. They are characterized by not having organelles surrounded by membranes, such as the endoplasmic reticulum, the Golgi apparatus, mitochondria, and plastids. The eukaryotic cells are more complex and are typical of protozoa, fungi, animals, and plants. A cytoplasmic organelle may be defined as a particular part of the cytoplasm responsible for one or more specific functions. The most important organelles are listed below ribosomes, mitochondria, complex gogli, centriole, lysosomal, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, rough endoplasmic reticulum, chloroplasts, scourge. 
Ribosomes. They are responsible for protein synthesis. They are not limited by the membranes and therefore occur both in prokaryotes and in eukaryotes. Ribosomes of eukaryotes are slightly larger than those of prokaryotes. They are composed of two subunits of different sizes. Biochemically, the ribosome consists of ribosomal RNA and some 50 structural proteins. Mitochondria. They are formed by two membranes, one outside and one inside. As the outer membrane is smooth, the inner layer has numerous folds called mitochondrial crests. The internal cavity of the mitochondria is filled with a fluid called mitochondrial matrix, which contains large amounts of dissolved enzymes needed for nutrient energy extraction. Mitochondria are of fundamental importance in the process of cellular respiration and the supply of energy from glucose breakdown. Gogli complex. Membranous structures are formed by flattened and stacked bags whose function is to prepare and store protein resulting from the endoplasmic reticulum. It is abundant in secretory cells. Centrioles are formed by a pair of rolls whose wall consists of nine sets of three each microtubule and occur in pairs in cells. The centrioles are devoid of the membrane and their constitution is of protein nature. The centrioles originate locomotor structures called cilia and flagella, which differ in the length and number per cell. Lysosomes. They are small bags carrying digestive enzymes. They are released from the Gogli apparatus to promote digestion of substances encompassed by the cells. You can also digest components of the cell itself by encouraging cell death for continuous renewal. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum. It is a network of tubular and flat vesicular structures formed and joined by a double membrane, the cell and widely distributed in communication with the plasma membrane or nuclear membrane. It does not have ribosomes attached to the outer membrane. It is responsible for the synthesis of all the lipids that constitute the plasma membrane, including phospholipids and cholesterol. Reticulum rough endoplasmic. Flattened and attached ribosomes format. The rough endoplasmic reticulum is present in greater numbers in cells specialized in the secretion of proteins. Chloroplast. They are delimited by two flat outer membranes, a lipoprotein and the other internal forming folds into the organelle. This well-organized set of layers forms attached cells each other, money calls. Each cell element having the currency format is the thycoloid. All this set of layers is dipped into a gelatinous fluid that fills the chloroplast, stroma, where there are enzymes, DNA, ribosomes, and little starch. The chlorophyll molecules are located in the membranes of thycoloids, and such a system is therefore the seat of photochemical reactions responsible for the capture and transformation of light energy into chemical energy. Scourges. The flagella of the bacteria, prokaryotes, are composed of a protein called flagellin. The eukaryotes are cytoplasmic, numerous filamentous extensions, protozoa, sponges, and mobile gametes. The eukaryotic flagellum is entirely different from the bacterial flagellum, both regarding the structure and in evolutionary origin, but the function in both is the same, create movements. Bacteria morphology and structures. They are unicellular organisms. They can be found alone or in colonies, consist of a cell, single cell, does not have defined cell nucleus, prokaryotes, and have no membranous organelles. Morphology, size, shape, and bacterial arrangements. Bacteria are variable in size and in the ways they present. Size bacterial. The unit of measure is the bacteria mm micrometer, which equals 103 millimeters. Many bacteria measure two to six millimeters long and one to two millimeters. Variable length, 0.1 to 0.2, up to five millimeters. Morphology of bacteria. 
bacterial forms and arrangements. Although there are thousands of bacterial species, they can be grouped into three general morphological types, cocci, bacilli, and spiral. Forms of cocci. Spherical is the group of bacteria more homogeneous on size. Coconuts take different names according to their arrangement. Micrococal, coconuts. Diplococci, cocci arranged in pairs. Tetrads, four coconuts groupings. Sarkina, eight coconuts groupings in cubic form. Streptococci, coconuts grouped into regions. Staphylococci, coconuts grouped into random groups resembling bunches of grapes. B, rod form, are cylindrical rod-shaped cells. They show considerable variation in shape and size between genera and species. C. Spiral shapes. Characterized by spiraling cells, are divided into spirilla, have a rigid body and move the cost of external flagella. Example, gender, aqua spirillium. Spirochetes. The move is flexible and is generally in the cytoplasm contractions and may give several complete turns around its axis. Example, genus Treponema. External structures of bacterial cell. The size, shape, and arrangement of bacteria are their morphology, their external appearance. Internal observation of cellular structures allows to know a little operation of the bacteria in the environment. Cell wall. The cell wall is a rigid structure that is present in almost all bacteria and is located above the cytoplasmic membrane. It contains complex polymers known as peptidoglycans, who are responsible for their rigidity. The cell wall prevents the cell bursts due to the large turgor, acts as a protective barrier against certain chemical and physical agents, and external functions as support bacterial somatic antigens. The bacteria can be divided into two broad groups based on their ability to fix the cell wall's crystal violet stain, gram-positive, which stain purple, and gram-negative, red blushing. The cell wall of gram-positive bacteria is composed of peptidoglycan, which is a thick layer around the cell. Other polymers, such as polysaccharides and liptotychaotic acids, may also be present in this layer. In gram-negative bacteria, the peptidoglycan is a thin basal layer on which another layer is called the outer membrane, is composed of lipoproteins, phospholipids, proteins, and lipopolysaccharides. The gram stain process consists of treating bacteria successively with crystal violet, lugol, alcohol, and fuchsin. The crystal violet and luganol penetrate both gram-positive and gram-negative in forming a purple compound. Treatment with alcohol is a differential stage. In gram-positive, alcohol does not remove the crystal violet complex plus luganol because its dehydrating action causes a thick peptidoglycan layer becomes less permeable, retaining the dye. In gram-negative, due to the small thickness of the peptidoglycan layer, the colored complex is extracted by alcohol, leaving the pale cells. Treatment with fuchsin does not change the purple color of gram-positive, whereas gram-negative decolorized by alcohol becomes reddish. Gram staining is widely used to identify and classify bacteria. Fungi, yeasts, morphology and structure. Fungi are important in the chemical, pharmaceutical, food, and also in agriculture. Have you heard of yeasts, mold, mushrooms, wood ears? All are living beings that have similar characteristics, own the fungi kingdom. We'll give emphasis to the yeast. Fungi. Fungi are eukaryotic organisms, heterotropic and absorb organic compounds as a source of energy. Aerobic are mostly, but some are strict anaerobes and faculative. They may be uni or multicellular and reproduce sexually or asexually. They have the rigid cell wall, which can be composed of cellulose, glucans, mannans, and chitin, and cell membrane sterols. 
Its primary reserve material is glycogen. The fungi studied in microbiology comprise yeasts and molds. Yeast is unicellular, non-filamentous, have on average from 1 to 5 millimeters in diameter and 5 to 30 millimeters in length. They are oval and may have elongated or spherical morphology. Yeasts do not have flagella and they are immobile. Molds are multicellular organisms which have filamentous and optical microscope to cool with low magnification. Microscopic examination has personal growth with velvety or cotton aspect, cotton, or coffee grounds, Aspergillus niger. Yeasts. Yeasts are fungi of the Ascomycetes class, which belong to the phylum Ascomycota. This phylum is characterized by having the fungi which produce spores occurs at specific sporangia called ASCII. Characteristics. They are eukaryotic microorganisms and unicellular, develop in the alcoholic fermentation. They exhibit well-defined cell membrane, rather thick in young cells and rigid in adult cells. Yeasts do not form filaments, are immobile, chemoheterotropic and faculative, aerobic, oxidative and fermentative metabolisms. They reproduce asexually and sexually. They are capable of using starch and cellulose as a carbon source. Importance in industries, the yeasts have the following points of interest. Are used in the production of industrial alcohol and all alcoholic spirits, or not. Are used in baking. Are harmful to the conservation of fruit and vegetable juices, as they are leavening agents. Some species are pathogenic to plants, animals, and man. Size of the yeast cells. The size of the yeast cells is varied, but in a youth culture, the cell size can be very uniform in some species or extremely heterogeneous in others. These disparities can be used to differentiate between species and sometimes even among strains of the same species. In general, industrial yeasts vary considerably as regards their dimensions. The measurement unit of yeast, as well as bacteria, is micrometer, micrometers, which is equivalent to 10 to 3 millimeters. Many yeasts have from 5 to 30 millimeters in length and 1 to 5 millimeters in width. Morphology of yeast. The yeast cell may have many forms, which may be the result of the way of vegetative reproduction, as well as the cultivation conditions and culture age. Yeast cell structures. Most investigations into the yeast cell structures are based on work Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Information on the yeast cytology have been made by direct observation under an optical microscope, a cell staining technique for specific components, transmission electron microscopy, and by microscopy. So you can see that the primary structures of the yeast are cell wall, plasma membrane, nucleus, mitochondria, and vacuoles. The cell wall of yeast. The cell wall is responsible for the shape of the yeast. In the case of Saccharomyces cerevisiae, the wall is formed by glycan, 30 to 34 percent, and mannan, 30 percent. She is thin in young and thick cells in the adult. The proteins are also present in the cell walls of yeast, about 6 to 8 percent. Lipids ranging from 8.5 to 13.5 percent. The amount of chitin varies according to the species. Saccharomyces cerevisiae has been that between 1 and 2 percent of this compound. Cytoplasmic membrane. The cytoplasmic membrane is located below the cell wall and its function is to allow the selective input of nutrients and protecting the yeast from the loss of small molecules through leakage of the cytoplasm. The chemical composition of the membrane is composed of glycoproteins, lipids, and ergosterol, different from the membranes of mammals which contain cholesterol. Metabolism and kinetics of the microorganisms. Set all of the biochemical reactions that occur in a cell or organism, essential for the maintenance of the structure and physiology. These reactions are responsible for processes of synthesis and degradation of nutrients into the cell 
and form the basis of life, allowing growth and reproduction of cells. The integrated metabolism is catalyzed by enzyme systems that mediate reactions that require energy and consists of anabolism and catabolism. Anabolism Anabolic is the set of all the reactions of synthesizing structural organic compounds, plasma membrane proteins, glycoproteins, and functional enzymes, hormones, in a cell. Is the synthesis of complex molecules from simple molecules. No consumption of ATP, which was released by catabolism, and it was not used. Are endogeneric reactions energy absorbing? Examples are photosynthesis and chemosynthesis. These results are essential for growth, the construction and repair of cellular structures. Photosynthesis is the synthesis of carbohydrates from water, H2O, and carbon dioxide, CO2, using luminous energy, which is absorbed by chlorophyll and transformed into chemical energy. Chemosynthesis is a process of synthesis of organic substances to carbon dioxide used, CO2, as the carbon source, but instead using a light energy, uses energy from the oxidation of inorganic substances, such as ammonia, sulfur, nitrate, and iron. Catabolism is the set of all degradation reactions of complex organic compounds into simpler organic compounds with the release of ATP. It provides the energy required for vital processes including movement, transportation, and synthesis of complex molecules. Examples are cellular respiration, aerobic, and fermentation. Aerobic respiration. A breakdown of organic molecules, usually glucose, in the presence of O2 with energy release carbon dioxide and water. The energy released is stored in ATP molecules. It is more efficient in getting energy than fermentation. Aerobic respiration takes place in three stages. Glycolysis. The hyaloplasm occurs in the cell, is the set of initial degradation reactions, breakage of glucose. It begins with the activation of glucose, which gets two phosphate groups provided by ATP, which turns into ADP. Krebs cycle occurs in the mitochondrial matrix. Basically, in this second phase, the division operates oxidation of triose molecule, three carbon sugar, in three carbon dioxide molecules, releasing electrons and protons, which are temporarily captured by specific transporters, NAD and the FAD. Respiratory chain occurs within the mitochondrial crests. The hydrogen released in the various stages combines with oxygen and form water. This reaction releases a large amount of energy, which is stored in the form of ATP molecules. Fermentation, a set of chemical reactions in the absence of oxygen, controlled by enzymes. Fermentation leads to the partial spin-off of the glucose molecule, resulting in lower energy availability compared to aerobic respiration. This process has great economic importance, being used to make ethanol, alcohol, bread, and other foods. In fermenting a glucose molecule generates two ATP. The fermentation depends on the type of microorganism present. Here are some examples. Alcoholic fermentation is produced as a final product, ethanol and carbon dioxide, products used by humans in the production of fuel alcohol, wine, beer, and other alcoholic beverages, and also in the manufacture of bread. Lactic fermentation is produced as a final product, usually from lactose milk. The lactic acid buildup lowers the pH and causes the coagulation of proteins, forming rennet used in the manufacture of cheeses and yogurts. Acetic fermentation the final product is an acetic acid, which causes the souring of wine and fruit juices, turning them into vinegar. Microorganisms for use in industrial processes. For a microorganism to be applied in the industry, it is necessary that it has the following characteristics. Not be pathogenic. Has a high efficiency in the conversion of substrate to the product. 
not require very complicated process conditions, not need very expensive means of culture, provide consistency as to the physiological behavior, allow the rapid release of the product to the environment, etc. Kinetics of Fermentation Processes The kinetics of microbial growth allows the knowledge of favorable conditions for driving and controlling fermentation processes. There is two goals kinetics of microbial growth. Measuring the velocity changes that occur during the fermentation process, such as substrate consumption, product buildup, and biomass. Study the influence of factors such as temperature, pH, water, oxygen, etc. The growth of the microorganism occurs in many physical and chemical environments. Microorganisms develop their vital activities in highly sophisticated ways. Transforming substances in others may cause results of economic interest. The fermentation process is a complex transformation of a nutrient culture medium. The metabolic action of microorganisms present in products and most microbial cells. The growth of microorganisms occurs only when certain physical and chemical conditions are met, such as pH, temperature, and nutrients, and can be defined as an increase of its constituents, chemically ordered tamarins, characterized by an increase in cell number and increase in cell mass. Microbiology, the importance of bacteria. However, these prokaryotes beings were and are essential for the maintenance of our life on our planet, beginning with the very fact that they were the first organisms to appear on the Earth's surface about 4.6 billion years. Providing oxygen in the atmosphere and reducing CO2 concentrations allowed the colonization of new organisms. Moreover, mitochondria and chloroplasts are derived from bacterial endosymbionts, i.e., without the bacteria eukaryotic cells and does not exist either the plant cells. The various types of bacteria can be harmful or helpful to the environment and live things. Bacteria capable of producing therapeutic drugs such as biotechnology insulin techniques have been developed. They are important because they serve as vectors for plasmids and synthesis of proteins unmethylated. In the food industry, there are several species of bacteria used in the preparation of foods or fermented beverages, including lactic for cheese, yogurt, wine, sausage, meats, pickles, sauerkraut, olive, soy sauce, fermented milk, and acetic used to produce vinegar. Human health. As infectious agents is well known, tetanus, typhoid fever, pneumonia, syphilis, cholera and tuberculosis are just a few examples. The mode of infection includes direct contact with infectious material and the air, food, water, and insects. Most infections can be treated with antibiotics and antiseptic measures may prevent many bacterial infections, e.g. boiling water before taking, washing fresh food or rubbing alcohol to a wound. Sterilization of surgical and dental instruments is done to get rid of any pathogen. However, many bacteria are symbionts of the human body and other ruminants, Methanobacterium smithii, Escheria coli, Lactobacillus acidophilus, and the genus Pseudomonas, Acinetobacter, and Moraxella. There, they assist in the breakdown of certain substances, such as cellulose, production as vitamins D, K, and B12 and also prevent the spread of pathogens, help in digestion. In the skin, contribute to the degradation of dead cells and waste disposal. In ecology, in the soil there are many microorganisms which work on the transformation of nitrogen compounds in forms that can be used by plants, and many are bacteria that live in the rhizosphere, the zone that includes the root surface and the ground which accedes. Some groups of bacteria are specialized in the mineralization of particular classes of compounds. For example, the decomposition of cellulose, which is one of the most abundant plant constituents. Cyanobacteria also may be associated with fungi, lichens forming. These, as well as biological markers of environmental quality, create conditions for new species colonize particular environments 
and may fix nitrogen also be used in the manufacture of dyes. The decomposing bacteria act in garbage decomposition and are essential for such a task. They can also be used for bioremediation, working on the biodegradation of hazardous wastes, including oil spills. In the pharmaceutical industry of production hormones, insulin was the first human protein produced by genetically engineered bacterial cells and approved for use in humans. Until then, the source of this hormone for the treatment of diabetics was the pancreas of cattle and pigs obtained in slaughterhouses. Although insulin these animals is very similar to human, it causes allergic problems in some diabetic patients who use the drug. Insulin produced in transformed bacteria, on the other hand, is identical to the human pancreas and does not cause allergy and should replace animal insulin. Growth hormone, somatotropin, was first produced in bacteria in 1979, but the commercial version was released only in 1985 after having been subjected to numerous tests which have shown their efficiency. The pituitary gland produces growth hormone in the absence or very low quantities, and the child does not develop properly. Until recently, the only option for children born with pituitary somatotropin deficiency was treated with hormone extracted from cadavers. Now this hormone is produced by genetic engineering techniques. Major Food Groups Linked to Bacteria Lactic acid bacteria, Lactobacillus bulgaricus and Streptococcus thermophilus, are a large group of beneficial bacteria that have similar properties and produce lactic acid as an end product of the fermentation process producing milk, your gut, wine, sausage, cheese, and olive, soy sauce, cottage cheese. Lactic acid also gives the fermented milk a slightly acidic flavor. Additional characteristic flavors and aromas are often the results of other products derived from bacteria. For example, acetaldehyde imparts the flavor of yogurt, while diacetyl provides a flavor of butter and fermented milk. Additional microorganisms, such as yeast, may also be included, promoting unique flavors. For example, the alcohol and carbon dioxide produced by yeasts contribute to the refreshing and sponginess of kefir and kumis leban, fermented beverages. Other manufacturing techniques, such as the removal of whey or adding flavors, allow creating a large range of products available. The Acetobacterius, or acetic acid bacteria, of the genus Acetobacter, involved in the manufacture of vinegar, glutamic acid, chocolate, bread, perform an incomplete oxidation of alcohols to produce an accumulation of organic acids as final products, and when the substrate is ethanol, acetic acid is produced. Cornobacterium genus bacteria are used in the production of glutamic acid, a substance used in seasoning to enhance the flavor of food. Serious diseases caused by bacteria Tuberculosis caused by Mycobacterium tuberculosis bacillus. Hansen's disease, leprosy, transmitted by Hansen bacillus. Mycobacterium leprosy. Diphtheria, diphtheria caused by the bacillus. Pertussis, caused by the bacterium Bordetella pertussis. Bacterial pneumonia, caused by Streptococcus pneumoniae bacteria. Scarlet fever caused by Streptococcus pyrogenes. Tetanus, caused by tetanus bacillus, Clostridium tetani. Leptospirosis, caused by Leptospira interrogans. Trachoma, caused by Chlamydia trachomatis. Or gonorrhea, caused by a bacterium, Gonococcus neseria gonohoriae. Syphilis, caused by the bacterium Treponema pallidum. Meningococcal meningitis, caused by a bacterium called meningococcus. Cholera, the disease caused by the bacterium Vibrio cholerae. Typhoid fever, caused by Salmonella typhi.